Hello everyone, welcome back to Wolf's Grove Workshop. Uh, today I've got something a little different for you. As you can see, I'm still hard on work, hard at work uh, uh, on the Cloud Fusion Sword and it's coming along rather nicely. But today I decided to do something a little different because of a recent development that occurred. Now, uh, I've been spending the last several months trying to befriend the local crow population and uh, it seems one of them decided to give me a little gift today. Ta-da! This guy, my wife noticed, was stuck underneath the uh, garden hose while she was going out to water her tomatoes today. And so, I decided to go ahead and do a little tutorial on how to make a feather quill pen. Now, uh, I've been a fan of calligraphy and uh, old school style writing for a very long time, ever since I was in college, when I was uh, part of the SCA, the Society for Creative Anachronism, for those who don't know. And uh, I thought this is a perfect opportunity to do something to both pay homage to, to those days, as well as uh, thank my little crow buddies for their lovely gift. Now. Basically, what we're going to do here, it's going to be a very simple process, uh, usable with just an X-Acto blade. Uh, we're going to basically just cut a diagonal line down the side of the quill to make an opening. Then we're going to make a cut uh, across to make the channel. And then we're just going to carve it down to make the grooves uh, in order to uh, bring it to a point. So, starting off... I have to be very careful here, because, as I said, this was a gift, and I do not know how many more I can expect. If my little friends here are willing to leave me more, I suppose I would be willing to... Ooh, little, little innards there, I managed to pull out. Uh, yeah, I suppose if they decide to leave me any more, I could maybe try to make more of these. Try to sell them. Alright. Imagine that. Genuine crow quill pens. Alright, so, I've gone ahead, made the diagonal cut, made the channel here. Now, this part is going to uh, hold the ink reservoir, and uh, this channel here is going to be where ink drips out of. Now we gotta bring this to a point here, just taking off little bits. Just nice and easy. This is very brittle stuff that we're working with here. You have to be very careful. Ugh. This is an old, old exacto blade. I wonder if I should even be using something this old and probably not sharp anymore. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and do that. Carve it down. Yeah, I know I've probably got people screaming at me right now for my lackadistical work here. But you know what? I don't think I'm doing terribly here. Cut this down a little bit more. Easy does it. Nice and gentle. Alright. Oh, that should do for now. So let me go ahead and push this up upwards. And as you can see, it's pulled into a little point there. Alright, well, let's say we go ahead, give her a little try. So, I've, as I said, I've been into calligraphy for a great number of years, as well as bookbinding. Uh, these are a few of the, few of the books that I've done uh, in the past. Let's see here, I've... Uh, let's see, I've got uh, one which I made the uh, Book of the Dragonborn from Skyrim. Uh, went ahead, 
did the uh, calligraphy work there as well. So you can see, tried my best to maintain the the uh, actual uh, font that they use there. Uh, yeah, little travel journal I made uh, so that you can yeah switch out the uh, books if you like. Just making a new new set of sheets there. I forget what they are called. It's been a while since I've actually looked up how to do this. Uh, this is one that I did uh, tea dyeing on as well as artificially aging the pages. These days I've become much more, uh, well, I've gained a greater preference for parchment paper because it comes prearranged with nice old looking pages that hold ink very well. So, and just set that down in there, make sure it's, there we go, what's so, ahead. Dip that ink in there. Make sure you get inside the reservoir. You know, there's a little bit of dripping, but it will hold the ink just fine. Now, let's see what I'm doing here. You can see, it writes pretty damn well. Uh, it is a, a little bit of overflow at the beginning, but sometimes that's simply the act of regaining your balance, so to speak. So let's try something a little bit easier. Um, use a nice light touch. yourself a good bit of writing all right well thank you very much everyone that's all for me from wolf's grove workshop keep on building